Here a little look at the uh, western crater and the sulfur encrustings and uh, the uh, sulfur emissions in the rear of the volcano towards the east uh, from the hidden crater from our view there is a little bit of sulfurous gas emissions you can see the light blue uh, gas that's coming out uh, the vapor and uh, there's a tiny bit in the uh, western crater as well the one that's opening towards us and of course there's low clouds today so this is uh, blurring a little but you can just about distinguish the bluish vapors the sulfurous gases from the volcano from the white clouds in the background and here you see the emission vents uh, where the sulfurous gas is coming out. The crater is rather beautiful actually and uh, the sulfurous encrustings are getting more in the last few days and this means that uh, there's no activity that's removing them but uh, there's more sulfurous gases being emitted and uh, they, once they reach the surface they precipitate their elemental load and sulfur is one of the main components there. There's a few other elements in there and then you get also sulfates, some whitish material at times, but uh, sulfur is a key component and uh, often that makes elemental sulfur, the yellow material that we see here. Plus, as I said, a few sulfates every now and then, alanide um, and jarosite and uh, uh, various sulfates that come as either a reaction product or the decay product of the various sulfur components. So this is the uh, La Palma volcano today and uh, overall very quiet but gas emission is ongoing but um, at a very reasonable rate it's very um, small quantities that are emitted and uh, apart from a few small places on the island where gas is still a problem the volcano has stopped to bother people now so thank you very much and uh, I uh, report back in a little while hopefully and uh, the volcano is continuing to stay friendly now in January and uh, hopefully for much, much longer as well. Thanks a million. All the very best.